In this episode of Vivian Tries, there is adult language. If you're easily offended, please turn the video off now. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, we are trying a brand new as seen. Actually, it's not brand new. It's been around for a minute, and a lot of you guys have been requesting this guy for months. I finally bought it. <laughs> I'm not really impressed with these types of grills, but I got it just for you guys. Introducing the Power Smokeless Grill. Do you know how many of you guys have requested this thing for how long? A thousand of you guys for the past seven months. <laughs> I apologize. I eventually get to everything. So the reason that I've waited so long to try this guy is because they always promise the same thing. It's smokeless. We have this debate in the comments all the time. What does smokeless mean? What does it not mean? This says power smokeless grill. Smokeless, no dash, no nothing. The only indoor grill with smoke extracting technology. Some of you guys want to point out how smokeless doesn't mean smokeless. This is a true smokeless grill from what I'm seeing on the infomercial and on the box. The infomercial says that you can grill a steak in your kitchen or grill anything in your kitchen, just like being outside. This is the first indoor grill with our smoke extractor technology. Another thing that they brag about in the infomercial is that it has a lid so that you can smoke like salmon or chicken in it. So it has like a smoking feature. I don't know, but he was bragging about this lid that he has in this thing. Is with the surprise that I've been waiting to show you. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. This is a big, beautiful cook and look lid. Removes hot, smoky air and returns clean, filtrated air. It heats up to 450 degrees, heats up quickly and even with constant temperature. What's the secret? The heat source reaching 450 degrees Fahrenheit connects to the grill plate. You know I got my temperature gun because we're gonna test that. It is dishwasher safe and you can remove the little plates. So that's awesome because cleaning things that we can't remove plates off of is such a pain in the butt. Forget about grill plates that are attached to the base. They're impossible to clean. Something that he did in that infomercial, Chef Eric, <laughs> Hi, Eric. Is that he grilled, <laughs> he grilled. Have you ever had grilled lemonade? Lemons and made grilled lemon juice. We're gonna make that, I got lemons. I got a tomahawk steak. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen, that tomahawk steak cost me $50. I also got some salmon. So we'll try salmon. We're gonna try grilling some lemons for grilled <laughs> You imagine calling my mom and telling her I'm making some grilled lemonade for her. She'd be like, do you smoke stuff in your house and you don't <laughs> I also bought a dozen eggs because he also makes this giant rolled up egg roll omelet. He wasn't joking around, right? Egg, look at that. Look at this. That looked very impressive. One of the reasons I was not buying this is because the price. This shit is expensive. I think the infomercial says three payments of $39.99, I think. For three payments of $39.95. To me, right off the bat, $119, I was like, pump the brakes, dude. I don't need to make grilled lemons that bad, you know? I am impressed with the size. Bonus number two, our stainless and tempered glass lid. For $120, it better come with a lid. It better come with a chef. Don't play. That's a lot of money. The last video that I did for a smokeless grill, there was a lot of back and forth about smokeless doesn't mean smokeless. It means less smoke. Listen, smokeless means no smoke. And this one even brags about the airflow technology. So no smoke. Watch again as it sucks up that smoke and odor like a vacuum. So that we don't have that debate in the comments back and forth. I've solved the problem. Boom. You know what that is? smoke detector. So I'm going to install the smoke detector and any smoke that comes off, this thing's going to go off a nasty loud alarm in our ear. Then I don't have to convince you that it was smoke and not steams. Hey, wait, <laughs> where are the handles? I'm not assembling shit. You know what I'm saying? 119, dude. 119. Assemble it, cook it, clean it. You should cook my first fucking meal on it. As far as I'm concerned, come over, <laughs> Chef Eric. I'm not impressed with what I'm feeling though. It feels plasticky. Oh, <laughs> you lift it. Don't break it now. Okay, here we go. 
instructions. So it all comes apart because you can dishwasher safe. So cleanup is a breeze. Throw it in the dishwasher, but this makes it easier to clean. So I'm gonna give them that. <laughs> Look it. It's not even metal. It's plastic. Listen. It's plastic. Is there any metal besides this here? Okay, so they give you the instructions there. So you're gonna press the power button, then you turn on your fan, set the temperature to medium or high for four to six minutes to preheat the grill. Then you can start grilling. It does say that it goes up to 450 degrees, nonstick. I mean, it's a basic grill. Let's assemble it. You guys know what I noticed when I was washing this stuff is I'm missing something. The griddle! Right? In the infomercial, did we not see him roll up an egg on a griddle? Is that what it's called? I think it's called a griddle. Did you see that? Oh, get bonus number one, our non-stick griddle plate. I'm missing a piece, Chef Eric. I bought a dozen eggs to roll up because that was a cool trick. So Uber that shit over to me. Thank you very much. Without the griddle, ooh, take this off. Oh. <laughs> Without the griddle, this is worth $59.99. Just like the Gotham Steel freaking grill. Is it in? That's what it looks like from the inside. Mm. It has power, it has fan, and then it has the little temperature wheel. First, we need to install our damn smoke detector. Because I don't want nobody crying about that. That smoke, baby, that steam. Press hold for test. Let's see. Okay, it's working. So we're going to go ahead and install it on my wall. I'm not going to screw anything on my wall. I still have this like damn silicone tape. I'm going to use that. Because if it held up a brick, not really. <laughs> it should hold up this little ass thing, right? Put it right here in the center. There you go. So now I don't have to debate with anybody in the comments about smoke, no smoke, steam, nothing. If this thing goes off, there's smoke. Okay, it's not, ooh, look at that. Power, fan. Okay, it's not too loud. Here's the plus or minus, you see it right there. If we do plus. Should I cover it to preheat or no? Hey, it's pretty quiet. The silicone lid doesn't like sit in there. It like just sits on the top, you see? Why are you off? Is everything in? It keeps shutting off. Why? The fan keeps shutting off. It smells like rotten eggs. You see the lid? You can see it right here, look. It doesn't sit flat on the grill. Like I want it to seal in there, right? The temperature is still flashing, like letting me know it's not up to temperature yet. So that's a cool little feature. I just hate the lid. Lemons. Wait a second. Did I get a recipe book, Mr. Chef? Bonus number three. We'll also include Eric's exclusive two book set. Where's your recipe book? For one fifteen, I couldn't get like five recipes. I can't justify the price, you guys, because I'm like, I'm looking for stuff to go, oh, but they threw this in, they threw that in. Now it tells you a cooking chart. I need a recipe. I need a recipe for this famous grilled lemonade. I need my griddle. <laughs> I need a lot of things. You could have thrown in a recipe book. Put that shit on the copy machine and you could have made a couple booklets. <laughs> okay, let's see. How exciting. Lemon, Yeah. sugar. Dip it. That's it? Put it on the power grill. Cut it in half, dip it in sugar, put it on your grill. Give it a couple more minutes to see if it beeps to tell me. Like the stove, it goes beep beep. When it's ready for me to put something in the oven. So we're gonna take the lid off. He did not have the lid on for this part. Dip them in sugar, like he said. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I want a lot of sugar because I want my shit real caramelized. Ready? It's not sizzling. Is it even distributing that heat evenly like I said on the box? It's not doing nothing over there. 245 over here, 250 in the middle, 250. Two more. If you've heard of this and I'm just 
living under a rock, please let me know in the comments down below. Have you ever had grilled lemonade? Puerto Ricans don't make grilled lemonade. You haven't? No! Alright, I can't wait to show you how to do it. <laughs> I mean, they might. I don't. Okay, so far no smoke. Look at me. Perfection. How beautiful is my grill? <laughs> Let's turn on the fan. I hear it clicking on and off, so I'm assuming that's how it controls the temperature. I don't know. Let's check this. Nothing. One press and it instantly starts heating. I'm just gonna put it 450. Fuck it. Right? It's not. I need you to hurry the hell up. My guests are waiting for their grilled lemonade. I don't have any. <laughs> it's just me and Jedi. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right now I have it at 450 degrees, the highest temperature it'll go. I'm gonna leave the fan on because now it's getting really hot. I wanna make sure this stupid thing doesn't go off. There's a lot of smoke. Let me turn it off. There's even more smoke, look. Why aren't you going off? It's not steam. <laughs> but it's not... Let me see. <gasps> Ooh, look, grilled. <laughs> so based on the box, it's a constant, even cooking temperature. So that means all the lemons should be about the same coloring underneath, the same kind of brown grill look. Second row. Everything closest to this middle row is cooking correctly. Look at that. Look at that one. That was dead in the center. Back corner. So I'm gonna say no to the claim that this thing is cooking evenly. No, it is not. The entire footprint is edge to edge grilling surface. I want the ones that are really have those really good grill marks. Oh, look at that, fits perfect. <laughs> okay, how do you do this? <laughs> I've never used one of these before. Oh. Have you guys ever heard that you're not supposed to eat like the burnt part of anything? on the grill because it's supposed to give you like the C word. That looks disgusting. That does not look like no lemon juice, lemonade. That looks like sewage water. I don't remember if in the infomercial he had ice or not. I think he did. If you have a juicer, it's probably easier. Well, you know the ones when you squeeze down and it shh like that. My mom has one. Does that look like nice, yummy grill lemonade? The power light is still flashing. I think it's to let you know that it's still hot but I did turn it off, so let's try this. It's actually not bad, it just tastes like lemon. I don't taste the grill part of it. It's too much work. Just make regular <laughs> lemonade. And we squeeze it right into the pitcher. I guess when you add enough sugar and cool it off with some ice, then it might be tasty. I just don't think your guests are gonna wanna drink this because they're gonna be like, I thought you bought one of those zero filters. <laughs> That's what they're gonna say. As far as the grill performance with the lemons, I'm gonna say it was a fail because it did not cook them evenly. It did pass the smoke test. The interesting part of cleaning it was underneath. Because underneath it doesn't have that nonstick surface, you're gonna have to scrub hard underneath. Not only that, it kind of stains where the stuff dripped through and it burned right onto the grill. Some people call that flavor. <laughs> Some people don't want that nastiness under their grill. It's on, it's clean. Let's turn it back on and all the way up to 450. Vegetarians, please look away. Your eyes are gonna bleed. Here we go, boys and girls. Boom, a tomahawk steak. <laughs> I've never had anything like this in my entire damn life. Look how thick and juicy that is. <laughs> Cause we love thick and juicy. So as soon as that hits 450, we're gonna put it on there and get some grill marks going. This thing is so freaking big. I don't even know how many pounds this was, like four or five pounds. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh my God, I hope it fits. I, I'm gonna put it this way so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Oh yeah, you hear that? It doesn't fit. Oh no, I'm, maybe I'll, oh, there we go, like that. 
Okay, the fan is on. It fit in there perfectly. I'm gonna push it down just a little bit because I want beautiful grill marks. I'm impressed with the size of this thing. Okay, it's been about three minutes on this side. Now I'm gonna flip it over. We should have perfectly even grill marks. Right? Oh, my grill marks are not there yet. Those grill marks are too amateur. I'm a pit master. Look at those grill marks. What do you guys think? This is not good grill marks. I'm gonna turn it like this. Okay. <gasps> it's hot. <laughs> Why am I using just these latex gloves? I don't know. That's what I have right now. My grill marks look like shit. Maybe I'll put it in the middle, huh? Just for the grill marks. But I have to cook this bone over here. <laughs> this bone's a raw. Let's check the temperature. Don't play. $50 steak, $370, $299, $278. It's all over the place. It's not even. It smells so good. I might be able to close the lid once I get my grill marks perfect. So far, I don't have a lot of smoke. Let's check the grill marks once again. Oh, I'm seeing smoke now. This thing's still not going off. This is probably defective. One, two, three, go. Better grill marks than this side. Here's what I think is happening. It's not staying on constantly. It's clicking off and clicking on. Clicking off, clicking on. That's an issue, number one. And number two, it's not evenly cooking this. So the hottest part is here in the center, but the outer corners is not as hot. Now let's try to put on the lid and see what happens. I moved it a little closer just in case. I don't know if this thing is working. <laughs> See, it just clicked off. So it clicks on and off throughout the entire time that it's cooking. Okay, it's smoking hard now. I forgot that there was a smoke detector in my studio. So two smoke detectors should be going off in a minute because this is a lot of smoke. Oh, it's too thick. <laughs> no one said that. The only indoor grill with smoke extracting technology. Do you guys want to see the fan when I turn it on, how all this disappears? Okay, ready? Come on. The Turbo Speed Smoke Extractor technology captures and extracts virtually all the smoke. My studio is literally smoking. I see a smoke fog in front of the camera. Let me open it. What is happening? Why, can't, why aren't you going off and why aren't you going off? You're fired. Both of you are getting replaced after this video. Because I see smoke. Is that steam? <laughs> no, that's smoke. I want to check the temperature now that I've left it alone. Okay, now it's at 450 in the middle. Let's see on the side. 365. Let's turn off the fan to see how bad it gets. Because <laughs> the fan's been on and look all the smoke. That's pretty good. Look at that. Fan on. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let it cook for a little bit and then we'll come back and check on it. Fan is on. Look at all the smoke. I don't care if these things are not going off. Squash that. Let me see. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you don't see the smoke, you're blind. There it is, see? Stop grilling with indoor grills that set your smoke alarm blaring. The fan is on. The fan is on. Smokeless. It's a fail. Look at my office. Oh my God, you guys probably can't see me. I'm gonna turn off the fan. Let's see what happens. And he didn't even have the lid on in the infomercial. He had the lid off. I wonder if the fan only works when the lid is off. You can have an open grill right in your kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the fan again because this stupid thing needs to be right up on it. Let's see if it clears it out. It's the same amount of smoke. Oh my God, I'm gonna help it. So it doesn't matter if the lid is on or off. Oh, that's going off. Do you hear it? That little piece of shit, so mine was going off a second ago. This is gonna start to fill my kitchen, I don't want that. Now I'm gonna turn our smoke extractor on. Look at that, it's like a vacuum. Tell me if there's less smoke when I turn on the fan. Fan on. No, same amount of smoke.
flip this. Oh, I burned it. My husband's gonna be mad. Oh no, that's good. <laughs> I have just placed my steak here to the side to let it rest before we cut into it. But I do have my salmon. I thought instead of going and cleaning all this shit out, I'm just gonna throw my salmon in here. The fan is not on, but I have preheated this to 350. Something that was really impressive to me in the infomercial is when he is cooking his salmon, he says that he never turns it over. I didn't flip them on purpose because I wanted to do a gentle cooking on these. But the salmon looked like it was grilled on the top as well. All he did was he put the lid on top. Fan on, lid on. Okay, so I went ahead and bumped the temperature a little bit. I have it now at 425 degrees. While I wait for this and before I forget, I want to say a quick hello to two people. One of them is Paisley. She is the sweetest, cutest little girl ever. I got to finally meet her about two, maybe three weeks ago. She was so cute and she watches my videos. So hi Paisley. I also want to say hello to Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. My sister told me that you actually bought a Ninja Foodie because I recommended it and because of my videos. So, ah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you love that foodie. I love mine. I wanna check the temperature of the actual grill because I don't think it's getting hot enough. I have it still at 425. I'm gonna flip it because I don't wanna ruin this beautiful piece of salmon that I will not be touching. <laughs> Okay, the temperature is at 407. Even though I have it at 425, it read in, see right there, 407.6. So it's a little off on the temperature. It's never gonna look like his did in that infomercial. That must have been movie magic, I don't know. It's gonna keep all that infusion of flavor God, right inside with our salmon. The little silicone thing that they have around this lid is annoying because it's, it's just sitting on top it's not attaching or clicking or sucking into anything. So it's kind of like, I don't know, the design. Y'all gotta go back to the design table with this thing. I'm gonna say this is done. And I flipped it on its side because I like to make sure the corners or the sides are all cooked. Do you do that? Looks lovely. Okay, there it is. <laughs> this is not very chef-like. It looks fine. It smells ooh like salmon. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> my husband can eat that I don't eat salmon but it looks perfectly cooked it looks great I don't think that it would have cooked this nicely if I had not flipped it over so flipping it over in my opinion is required I don't know what kind of he did that he didn't have to flip his but mine had to be flipped you ever met anybody calls this salmon <laughs> I love you I'm not making fun of you but I'm just saying Salmon is not correct. It's salmon. Salmon? <laughs> no, I don't even know. How do you say it in English? Is my second language. <laughs> I just forgot fucking English. Salmon. <laughs> That's what it's called. Salmon. It just came to me. So we don't say salmon. You're so cute. That's not how you say it. <laughs> I, oh, I almost, <laughs> Jen, I almost got lunch. <laughs> okay, I'm delusional from all the smoke in my fucking office. It looks beautiful, wonderful, my husband's gonna enjoy it. We're gonna change the name to Power Smoke Grill. <laughs> We're gonna scratch off Smokeless. Power Smoky Grill, that's what they should call it. I don't know what the hell happened, but in my world, allegedly, not allegedly, shit, y'all saw it. We experienced it together. That shit, firemen just left my house because they're like, are you okay, girl? That didn't happen, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it could have happened if I let this shit keep going, you know? And don't buy this from Walmart. That's a piece of shit, too. It went off, but nobody could hear it. <laughs> did you hear it? I don't I don't remember hearing it, but it did go off. Is it nonstick? Yeah. The cast aluminum grill plate is super nonstick. Is it easy to clean? Not really. It's just like any other grill. The, the nice part is you can take it apart and throw it in the dishwasher, but I'm not gonna say it's easy to clean, no. The center of it got up to temperature. The corners were usually a lot lower. So the part of the constant and even cooking, I'm gonna say not my experience. Oh, I didn't get my griddle. 
I didn't get my griddle. I was ready to do that little egg trick. Did y'all see that part of the infomercial? That girl almost got salmonella. That shit was raw. That shit was raw. She like just got a little bit from the corner because that shit was... I don't like my eggs that runny. Not even close to being product of the year. Five star reviews say it all. So I'm going to give the Power Smoky Grill zero Vivian heads. All right, you guys. So that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh, if you stay till the end, you're about to see me cut it. The loyal stay till the end. Those are my bitches. Love you people. Ooh, Vivian. She's a chef. She's a chef. Let's see. Nice and pink how my husband likes it.